Hey guys, let's talk about our latest offering in the popular Stratotimer GMT series. By now, you probably know most of what there is to know about the Stratotimer since its first release. And I'm here to talk about the latest version and the improvements we have made to the product. But to jog your memory real quick, back in 2022, we had the privilege and honor to be selected by Miyota as one of the first brands to launch a watch housing the Miyota 9075 Travelers or Flyer GMT movement. The watch saw immediate success as we sold out of all 500 pre-orders before shipping a single watch. The watch was a statement not only for the Jack Mason brand, but also for the watch industry as a whole. For the first time, you were able to obtain a premium level watch with jump hour capability without paying those premium prices. The Stratotimer GMT functioned like a Black Bay GMT, but was a fraction of the price, a fraction of the thickness, and had more enthusiast focused features like a sliding micro adjusting clasp. And now for the latest versions, we've tweaked the product and added a little more value while keeping the same price. The newest members to the Stratotimer family is the Black Tie, Emperor, and Magnolia. Aside from color scheme, all three of these feature the same updates, which I'll go through now. The most obvious detail to call out is that the bezel is a single color as opposed to the split color bezel. The new Strata timers feature a single piece of high polished ceramic, which as we all know, is a material that always looks good on a watch. One thing to note is that I wouldn't call this an update as we are not replacing the sapphire bezels for the split color variants. We will continue to make those as they are, and we only decided on the ceramic piece as an added style to the overall collection. I'll also use this moment as an opportunity to address a common narrative that I hear in that ceramic is a better material than sapphire and is seen as a quote unquote better option. This is not true. It's a matter of personal preference. In reality, sapphire is actually a more expensive material and is technically harder than ceramic. So on paper, you can argue that sapphire is a better material, but I'm not here to debate that. They're both just about equally scratch resistant and durable and both give their own unique luster with light refractions. Back to the watch. The Magnolia color variant features a beautiful green color, while the Black Tie and Emperor both feature a polished black ceramic for more of an everyday look and appeal. All the bezels have excellent loom performance with the Grade A Superluminova 24 hour scale that have a consistent glow with the rest of the watch. The next three updates to the watch were made as a result of all the feedback we have received from the Stratotimer owners. The benefit of being a smaller independent watch brand allows the luxury of being nimble and taking quick action on making a product more customer centric. The first customer based update is the loom on the hands. In the first generation Strat, the loom plots were slightly smaller and it caused a visual disparity between the width of the hands and the bold indices. So what we did was we widened and lengthened the area of loom on both hands to bring them visually closer in proportion to the indices without overpowering the dial. The added benefit to this is that the hands actually glow a little brighter and longer. The other customer base update is that we enlarged the crown to 6.5 millimeters in diameter and also thickened the grip area so that it's easier to use. This was an update that I personally found much better for my thicker fingers and found it much better for the screen out crown action. The slightly larger crown also makes the watch look a hair more bold, which is pretty cool as well. This next update actually comes from a single individual customer of ours that brought up a good point that we simply did not consider. Unlike most bracelets where you have an equal amount of adjustable links on either side of the clasp, we offset the amount of adjustable links by adding more on the side that has the micro adjusting action. What this does is that it allows more control, particularly in smaller wrist sizes, to adjust the bracelet to where the clasp is centered in the underside of your wrist. Because of the wide range of micro adjustment in our clasp, you're now able to center the position of the adjustment and center the clasp as a whole on your wrist for a more balanced and comfortable wearing experience. The final update made to the Strata Timer is that we have added a hardness coating to the bracelet so that you're more protected from those daily wear and tear scratches. I will say these coatings are not scratch proof and don't last forever, but it certainly helps keep that new look a bit longer with responsible wearing.
So as you can see, there's been quite a few design updates to the Strata Timer, and most of them are pretty practical, which add to a better wearing experience. It's especially rewarding to take a product, listen to our customers, and make it even better. While we are doing what we can to offer the best watch we possibly can, there's always room for improvement, and what better way to receive that information than from our community? Let's run through the updates to recap. Number one, you have the ceramic bezel, which is less of an update and more of a new addition. You have more loom on the hands, and large crown for a better user experience, offset adjustable links for a better wearing experience, hardness coating to keep that new look a bit longer. Just so everyone knows, all options that I just went over are features that are gonna go into all future Strata Timer GMTs and that comes standard. When it comes to updating products in general, sometimes they can come at a higher cost. And while our cost did increase a tad, we decided to keep the same price for our customer at $9.99. Our priority at the moment is to be reasonable with our prices and push the envelope as much as we can. When you're buying a Jack Mason watch, you have a direct hand in investing in us to create better watches with each new release. It allows us to keep experimenting and design watches that will hopefully stay in your collection for many years to come. At this point, the Strata Timer has become synonymous with the Jack Mason name, and we can't wait to show you what else we have in store for this platform. Guys, thanks for watching, and if you want to have a deeper dive into behind the design of the original Strata Timer, I encourage you to explore our playlist of Design to Watch series. You'll be able to see exactly what went on behind the scenes to create this iconic watch and see how it's evolved into what it is today. Don't forget to subscribe and share any comments you may have. To get a better sense of our community, you may also join our Facebook group and hear from them on what their experiences have been with the Strata Timer. Thanks again and have a good day.